Okay, here we go. This is my latest design of my electric generating water wheel using a bicycle wheel. And instead of using black plastic pipe as a siphon coming from my stream, I went up to a 4 inch PVC. So that's feeding down. And for my generator, I actually have a permanent magnet alternator that's made from a ceiling fan. Okay, right now you can see, if you look very carefully, that there are one, two, three, four little LED lights that are being uh, lit up by the bit of current that's coming out of it. Okay. Now, it's showing on my multimeter that I've got uh, 5.4 volts, roughly 5.3 volts AC coming in on the um, AC side of the rectifier. Okay, if I take off my load, which is that minuscule little load there for the LEDs, okay, then we show that the wheel can actually generate 19 volts AC. All right, but again, that's no load, so you can hear the difference in the speed of the of the wheel. Whoop. And the load just went on all by itself. The contact touched. So, it's not generating a lot of juice, but uh, it's a trickle charge, so if it was hooked up to a 12 volt battery and uh, they had a good long time to uh, to charge, it would charge a battery and then we could get some decent power out of it, at least for a while. The main problem right here is that I don't have enough pressure. Okay, I do have some volume, but not enough pressure to really keep that wheel moving. If, uh, if it kept moving the same speed when it was under load as it does when it's off load, then I would have more than enough. Okay, again, we're up to 19 volts, no load. So there's the difficulty. I've got another spot where I'm going to try the wheel. I know that I've got more head, which is at the other end of the pond, and I'm sure that I can get some decent power out of it down there. But this was just for fun, so there you go.